Okay guys, now that you know how to get and post videos, the next operation is to update a video in the database. And to update, a put request has to be used. And the syntax is slightly more complicated than the previous requests. So anyway, here in api.js, I'm going to continue with the code. So we are going to say router.put because put request is to update a video. And then the path is going to be slash video slash colon id so we are going to update a video by its id and then we're going to have a function that gives us access to the call uh, to the request and the response object so request and response now within the pair of curly braces first we're going to we're going to lock to the console update update a video And then mongoose provides a method on the video model, which is find by ID and update. Now this takes in four arguments. And the first one is the ID of the video that we want to update. So request.params.id. Now this ID is the same ID that we are passing here as part of the URL. The second one is an object. So within a pair of curly braces, we're going to say dollar set colon and then again an object. So the title is going to be request.body.title. Put a comma. The URL is going to be request.body.url. Again, a comma. And then the description similarly is going to be request.body.description. Now I will explain the syntax in just a bit, but now that's the second argument. The third argument is again an object. It's going to be new set to true. And then finally, the fourth argument function over here. And then this is actually going to close after this so there you go then let's see what else i think i missed this one and a comma all right now the function is going to have either the error or the updated video so updated video now within the curly braces we are going to say if there is an error response dot send error updating video all right and then if there was no error then we are going to return response dot json so send back the updated video All right, so that should be the end of the API. Let me explain to you what each individual line does. So when we make a request to, when we make a put request to be more precise to localhost 3000 slash API slash video followed by the video ID, we're going to first log to the console updating a video. And then we're going to get a hold of the video model. And then Mongoose provides find by ID and update method to update a video based on its ID. So the first argument is the ID of the video that we want to update. And this, of course, we are going to retrieve from the request. The second argument is the set of new or updated values for the video that was fetched using the ID. So if there was a video with ID is equal to one and we send in one over here, its title is going to get updated with the new title URL with the new URL and description with the new description. Now, how would you normally send these? So there basically there is going to be a form with three input fields for title, URL and description. When you submit it, they're going to be captured in request.body.title.url and dot description. So that's the second argument. What are the values that need to be set for the existing object? The third argument or parameter is new set to true. 
Now what this does is if this is true, this method returns the updated video that is the video with the new set of values. If this was false, it, is, it was going to return the original video, that is the video before the values were updated. So you can get both the original video and the updated video based on this parameter. Now that's the end of the API. Let's go ahead and test this in Postman. Now again, before testing, you need to restart the server. So node server. Right, let's go back to Postman. And if you have a look, we have the Postman video that was created in the last video and we are going to update that in this video. So the first thing you want to do is change get to put and over here we are going to enter localhost 3000 slash API slash video followed by the video ID. So this one. So now we are going to set the body. So set form URL encoded. We have the title and the value is going to be updated title URL updated URL and description updated description. I'm going to click on send. So there you go. We have the same ID that we have passed over here, but this time excuse me this time the description URL and title have been updated with the values that we have sent so that is how you update a video using mongoose and by now you should have a good understanding of how postman is helpful so instead of creating the HTML code with a form and input fields to submit this data just to test this API we can do it using postman Anyway, uh, that's pretty much for this. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.